This is a solar wax melter, and that's what you do with dead hives. Whenever somebody sprays poison and you'd get a dead hive, you have to quickly clean it up. So you take it and you throw it in the wax melter, and it comes out the bottom here, and you get this little pan of wax. And um, you can remelt it again, throwing it out the top after you clean that up. But these are all the, the silken husks left behind from the honeybees that live in their cells. Each time a honeybee hatches, it leaves behind a silken husk and um, inside the comb. So that's what you do with dead hives. You, you take out the combs and you melt them as soon as possible. If you don't, you'll be breeding scavengers like small hive beetles and uh, wax moths. So after you clean the hives out, um, you take the combs and you put new combs back in there, get it all cleaned and waxed. Anyway, the wax melter works really, really well. And you should, everybody who keeps a lot of bees should have a solar wax melter because there's nothing like it. Um, trying to do it in the house on the stove is just too much work. And see, the wax comes out beautifully. My girlfriend has just tons and tons of wax. And we don't know what to do with it. And it's because of all of the hives that we cut drone combs out of. Because when they're done with the drones, they don't, they don't need the comb anymore. And also because um, I have so many bees dying from my neighbor who keeps spraying for armyworms every week. But a solar wax melter is something to get or make. This one's a homemade one. And I'm not a good person to make stuff with. So I had a guy make it. And um, he made it with these wheels and one window pane and a metal tray. And you could probably make anything like this, but I can't.